The world's crowded city streets are perfectly placed for the rapid transmission of contagious diseases. None more ideally suited than the feared coronavirus. In London, they've been manufacturing its genetic code and injecting it into animals in an attempt to trigger an immune response. They're hoping for positive results within weeks. And then we want to move to doing human testing um, towards the beginning of the summer. And that's you know, faster than we've ever gone before. But those first human studies will again be to check that the vaccine is safe in a small number of individuals and induces the right kind of, a, uh, of an immune response that we would predict would be protective. The need for speed is self-evident. If containment of the virus breaks down, there's a risk of a global pandemic with coronavirus running out of control. We are talking about millions of infections, but you have to remember that influenza, seasonal influenza itself, causes hundreds of thousands of deaths annually, yet we're not getting a daily update on the number of influenza deaths. What's happening at the moment is you're getting the number of fatalities based on those that have severe infection. So it may look worse than it is ultimately on a percentage basis. Professor Shatok stresses the importance of international health agencies taking seriously the threat of coronavirus, but adds there's been a lot of scaremongering. The critical work being carried out by scientists here at Imperial College is part of a worldwide battle against coronavirus. The reality, of course, is that the world is still in containment mode, trying to stop the spread of the virus. Until then, the fight against coronavirus goes on. Richard Bestick, CGTN, London.